what I want to do at, at this time before we release our children is just give you an update on what's going on with our New Orleans church plant. So if you're uh, really, really new to the church, then this is going to be news to you. Uh, but we have been planning to plant a church in New Orleans. I'm from New Orleans, and for about 15 years, that has been on my heart, and all but four months of my Christian life have been spent in this church, uh, preparing, laboring to be ready to go back to New Orleans and see the gospel uh, preached there. And so we have been preparing, uh, especially uh, with a core team over the past couple years. And where we are today, uh, we have completed some, some branding for the church. That's not super spiritual, but it's, it's necessary. Um, you can, can kind of see where we're at and follow updates on gracebiblenola.org if you haven't seen the, the website yet. Uh, we're registered as a corporation with the state of Louisiana. We've opened uh, a bank account to start receiving donations and giving as well. Uh, we've put together a support letter and started disseminating that support letter to like-minded churches uh, looking for partnership in what we're doing. And our intended launch date we have finally nailed down to November 12th of this year. November 12th. And uh, what that means is that on November 12th, I plan on preaching God's word somewhere in New Orleans East. Uh, we don't have a location yet. There's lots of details that need to come together, but we finally put a, a date on the calendar. And so my family's last day here at Grace Bible Church, we're planning on being October 29th the last Sunday in October. So up until leading, leading up to that, there's lots of things that are, that are going to happen. Uh, Lord willing, I'll be preaching a verse-by-verse -verse exposition of the book of Haggai in the weeks leading up, and then one final sermon um, as sort of a, a farewell address on October 22nd. And uh, let me just update you on the, the core team who's planning on joining us in New Orleans, and I'm just gonna name these families, and as I do, go ahead and, and stand. Uh, the families that uh, we started off with in June 2021, we asked the body to just prayerfully consider whether you would be willing to join in this effort, and about a dozen households started meeting in June 2021, and we're prayerfully considering relocating to New Orleans to establish a church there with us. Of those families, the, the ones that we've, we've finally narrowed down to a committed group to go to Louisiana include Derek and Pam Robinson and their family, Derek's mom, Judy Heddens, Diana Allen, she's the most committed. <laughs> having already uh, purchased property there and kind of splitting her time now between there and here. Matt and Janelle Schneider and their family. Um, Nick and Brittany Dudley are the, the final family. They're around, yep. And then my family, of course, you guys can, can stand, but you know us. Um, these are the families that are going to be relocating and willing to just upend their, their lives here, in their time here at Grace Bible Church, and go to New Orleans, uh, a hard place uh, to live, to raise a family, all for the sake of the gospel. Uh, so you can be praying for these families uh, as they consider what to do with homes and possessions here, all in preparation to, to move. You guys can, can be seated, thank you. You can also add to your, your prayer list, uh, Skylar and Lydia Reed, let me see if I can get a picture of them up, maybe. Skyler is a graduate. We graduated together uh, from the Expositor Seminary in 2020, and he is engaged to Lydia Todd. 
and their wedding is scheduled for June 10th. Skylar and I have been talking for some time about uh, partnering together in New Orleans. And so he would be a, a great asset to us, uh, having the same training as I have uh, to come and, and partner with us in New Orleans. They've still got some investigation to do, uh, maybe another trip or two to make to New Orleans. Uh, recently at the Courageous Churchman Conference, all of the men uh, that you just saw standing got to meet Skyler in Florida and spend a little bit of time with him. And so that was uh, just a fruitful time. But you can be praying for, for that couple as they're engaged, pursuing marriage together uh, in the months to come, and then investigating uh, a significant change to move from Huntsville, Alabama to New Orleans, possibly. Uh, just so you know, Diana and the Dudleys expect to be in New Orleans in November uh, when we launch the church plant. Uh, the Robinsons are planning to arrive in January after uh, their kids finish that fall school semester. And the Schneiders uh, are still unaware or unable to put a date on the calendar because uh, baby Daniel, as many of you know, they've had him in foster care and they're looking to adopt him. And so that's just uh, as those of you who fostered and adopted know, just lots of uh, uncertainty there. So they're eager uh, to get there, but also um, eager to make Daniel their son. So that's another prayer request you can, you can add to your own prayer list. Uh, my own family, we've moved in with Kyle and Ashley Frazee and their four children, so all 13 of us living in the same house. And it could not have been an easier living situation. Uh, they are just servants and we love them and they love our family. And uh, in the midst of the busyness of ministry as Kyle is on staff here and has a, a full plate as do I, um, our wives and children have just really enjoyed being together, but you can also add the phrases to your, to your prayer list. Uh, Emily and I have started using our own home as a short-term rental uh, through Airbnb and Verbo to uh, save money and, and put away some, some money to purchase a home in New Orleans. Uh, we'll most likely be selling our home and buying something in, in the summer in the city. Uh, until then, we'll be traveling uh, quite a bit. So let me just give you an idea. If you don't see me around as much, here's why. Later this month, we'll be leaving to uh, visit Cornerstone Church in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, uh, visiting a partnering church. I'll be preaching there and uh, talking to their elders about New Orleans. Uh, next month, Emily and I will be in New Orleans with Diana. I'll be speaking at an event for pastors about biblical counseling and making some more connections there. From mid-June to through the month of July, for about six weeks, we'll be gone, sort of on a cross-country adventure, uh, visiting churches in Houston, Lynchburg, New York, and Jupiter, Florida. And so I'll be... Uh, preaching in, in New York uh, several times, spending time with another expositor seminary graduate, Joey Gonzalez, who our stories are, are a little bit similar. So we'll get to go learn from him and uh, our wives and families will get to spend some time together. But we'll be gone mid-June through, through July. So uh, thank you for allowing me to just uh, fill holes here. Um, those who are kind of taking on responsibilities for me, uh, have been just gracious in doing that and freeing me up to, to prepare well for the church plant launch. Last thing I'll mention, let me just give you an idea of uh, the financial need. Uh, the startup costs for what all we're doing, uh, we anticipate totaling somewhere around $25,000. Uh, that'll include legal fees and entity set up uh, equipment to start, marketing, signage, uh, those kind of things to just put our name on whatever, uh, wherever we're meeting. And then uh, just some basic core team moving expenses that'll help the families uh, leave here well and uh, get to New Orleans. 
as well as in addition to that, the uh, just operating costs for, for what we're doing. We're just aiming to function at a fraction of uh, the budget of an established church. That'll include my salary, benefits, uh, ministry expenses, rent for whatever facility we are, we are in, where we gather. We're gonna try and stay mobile initially, just not knowing what happens. So we don't wanna get into a space where if we have super slow growth, we are you know, beyond our means and, and where we rent. We wanna have something that's manageable, but then we don't, if there is a, some sort of quick growth in God's providence, we don't wanna be locked into a long-term lease either. And so we're gonna try and be mobile. We'll be investigating some uh, schools and, and other temporary f facilities that we can rent month to month. Uh, administrative costs and, and basic supplies. And so the total for that is about $166,000, just under that. Uh, the elders have, have decided that uh, Grace Bible Church is gonna carry somewhere between, uh, or in the neighborhood of 57% of those initial costs for year one, uh, totaling 190, just over $190,000. And so the remaining is, uh, $80,696 that we're going to raise and uh, pray that the Lord provides and uh, just see what he does. Um, either way, we're, we're going to be in New Orleans in November. So if, if you want to give beyond your current uh, normal general giving, then you can do that uh, best online at gracebiblenola.org. There's a give button at the top of the page and and you can give. Uh, we are in the middle of a, a fundraiser where we've got our Spurgeon in Louisiana t-shirts that we're selling. Also, you can look on the blog or there's a link uh, on, on the bulletin for where you can find out more information and purchase t-shirts uh, to help us cover those year one expenses and, and startup costs. So if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to, to come see me. Um, visit the blog. I'm, I'm trying to update that regularly so that all of that is, is uh, available. And just to, to briefly run back through the prayer request needs, uh, pray for the Schneiders to adopt Daniel soon. Um, I've asked Matt to lead music for us, and so it'd be helpful to have him there as soon as possible. Uh, pray for Skyla and Lydia Reed as they're encroaching on marriage and praying about New Orleans. Uh, pray that God would give us wisdom and, and diligence in preparing to go. And pray for me that I would be diligent in my current shepherding duties, uh, not leaving um, in my own heart too soon. Uh, but pray for diligence in shepherding duties as well as in preparation. There's lots to do. Uh, you can pray for safety and strength as my family travels uh, in the coming months. And just pray that God would... Uh, bless our support raising efforts as well as just provide here as I uh, pull out of so much ministry that I'm involved in. And, and I would be remiss if I didn't just say thank you, Grace Bible Church. Uh, you have just raised me up spiritually and sacrificed in so many ways beyond number to, to see this happen. And so only God knows the, uh, the ultimate fruit that your sacrifices will, will bear in the future. So thank you. Let me pray, and then we'll send our kids uh, to their classes. God, you are so good to uh, give us a clarity from Scripture on what church planting is about, that we would evangelize the lost for the sake of establishing a church and, and all of the things that go along with that, uh, to open your word and to have our hearts thrilled again to just see your character, uh, to see your love for us, to see... Uh, what you have done in Christ to rescue sinners and exalt your own name. We are not worthy to herald that message, and yet you've entrusted us with that singular task to disciple nations with your word, to conform people to Christ's image by your grace and through your truth. I pray that you would cause that to continue happening here in Tempe, that we would be zealous to see the mission carried out beyond uh, what we currently see at work here in this church and that you would be pleased to do a similar work in New Orleans. 
and that you would just keep us humble, uh, faithful in all of our endeavors, regardless of, of what the fruit appears to be to us, that you would just make us faithful so that at the end of the day, we might see ourselves as unworthy servants, uh, privileged to labor uh, with you in these ways. And we pray all these things in Christ's name. Amen.